Hey, boo, and welcome to my channel. I'm Ant. If you're new around these parts, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because you will not be bored. I promise you, okay? I can promise you. We're just full of entertainment over here, okay? This is free, so just hit the button. And if you're not new around these parts, you knew that Hey Boo was just for you. Just, just for you. Anywho, we are back with our Me Chat series. Are you excited? <gasps> I'm excited. I'm also really tired of this makeup look already because my right eye just keeps wanting to cry and cry and cry. I wonder if it's a sign from the universe that Philip is about to let me down. Anywho, <laughs> let's get this ball going, okay? I believe we're on part, damn, what part are we on? Hold on, wait, wait a minute, hold on. I think we're on seven. I forgot my password to my phone, don't judge. Yes, we are on part seven, possibly a part eight. It all depends how many more conversations we have to go with this guy. So. Let's go ahead and jump into it. And if you want to catch up on the series, the playlist is either going to be up here or down below, boo. You got options, okay? Catch up and be entertained. So we're here with Philip, and he says, Are you feeling lonely? Why do you sound like a hotline commercial? Very funny. And we're going to smirk because we were being a smart ass on purpose. Thanks, I try. You must be sad that you didn't get anyone to go home with you. Actually, I'm not sad at all. With all these people being shady and dirty and dirty and shady, I'm totally fine with going home alone. It's not that deep. How so? I'm enjoying my time away from you. That too. That too. I'm reading a book and I'll go to sleep peacefully. Which book are you reading? 700 Days. <gasps> we got only... Okay, listen. Listen. Listen, because he's going to say some things. In that book, Maria develops Stockholm Syndrome and ends up marrying her kidnapper. Hopefully I didn't spoil it for you. Remember, it's the journey that matters, not the destination. Be, 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 F -F be fuck. I'm about to curse you the fuck out because you knew damn well, you knew damn well you were spoiling it. How you gonna sit there and spoil it and then tell me you're not trying to spoil it or you're hoping you weren't spoiling it. You will lie and you know it, Philip. and this is why I want a Homer Simpson you so bad. Fingers and hands around the throat and just shake. Shit! How'd you do that? Who does that? You know, it is too early for you to be getting on my nerves like this, for real. We not even five minutes into the video. I'm down even two minutes in the video. And you already working my mother- Oh my god, I need a break already. Can you tell I hate spoilers? So what should we say? In this scenario, where I am clearly highly frustrated, what should we say? We have two options. We have, why do I even trust you at all? You're doing it again? Or, I figured that would happen. Did we figure that would happen? Let's, let's, let's do the Delulu is the Salulu and say, we knew that would happen because the book is so predictable or Philip is so predictable. Either, either one is pretty predictable. Oh, good for you then. I don't read that for the plot. You need to get laid. <laughs> I'm gonna roll my eyes because I don't need to. It's a matter of want my dear Watkins. And right now I really don't want to anyway. <laughs> and I tried, but you sabotaged me. You remember that whole scene in the club? He was blocking like no other. I was just doing my job. Sure you were. I think you secretly enjoy reading smutty books at this point, I really do. Because how you know the plots before I do? How you know the endings before I do? You skimming through those things super fast. Nah, but I enjoy ruining them for you though. You're not ruining anything, my dear guardian. I know exactly why you're acting the way you are. What? How do you know? I figured it all out. <gasps> oh yeah, because the thing, the scene at the end of the club in this video right here, you remember? If you don't, go watch it. It's a good one. It's a good one. But how? That's impossible. Well, I've been thinking long and hard about it. I'm just super smart. Um, I'm not confident enough. I've had a lot of moments where even I look at myself and go, bitch, what the fuck? <laughs> but in this scenario, we're just gonna say, well, I've been thinking long and hard about it. And I'm 100% certain about why you're acting like this towards me. Please enlighten me. You're totally in love with me. <laughs> That's a secret I'll never tell, XOXO. <laughs> That's a secret I'll never tell. I do, I mean, I'm pretty positive he's secretly in love with us. He just don't want to admit it. You know, men, feelings, they don't quite get along very well or very often. But, you know, 
I do love keeping a secret, especially when it's juicy. So you're just talking out of your ass as usual. Oh, you're cute when you're flustered. I couldn't even say that I'm flustered when you can't see my face. I can imagine it based on your texts. You're seriously getting on my nerves now. Go to sleep already. I'm gonna laugh because you're so flustered. You're so mad. Why are you so mad? Don't be mad. We're having fun. Don't be mad. Okay, but you should go to sleep too. I will. Good night. Good night. Dream of me. <laughs> this part seven is so cute to me. We're gonna hop into our intermission. And I just want you to know, if you can't tell already, so stinking cute. So stinking cute to me. So for my snacky snack snack, <laughs> I don't think I asked you guys to get your snack and drink earlier or to be 18 and up, but you know, you should have been all of those things, okay? Snack ready, mine is popcorn because I'm lazy. And drink ready. Mine's with a silly straw because I feel like being in a silly goofy mood. I swear, I don't care how old you get. It's drinking out of a silly straw, always gonna be top tier. I could be iced out in diamonds and I'd still request a silly straw. Okay, so now that we are back from our intermission, Philip hit us back up and this is what he said. That date was the most boring thing I've ever seen. What date? Who was on a date? Who went on a date? So I am confusion. I didn't go on no date. Oh, come on, you were spying on me again? Oh, I was on a date. I was on a date. Apparently I was on a date. Just doing my job. I swear, it's like your taste gets worse with every new guy you meet. I roll. You just mad because you wish it was you. You wish that was you, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I really thought being around me fixed your taste. My taste is fine. Hmm. Let's not lie here. Hmm. Let's not lie. It's, it can be tweaked a bit. You look like you were going to fall asleep. You need to love yourself more and aim higher. Stop. 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 To mind your damn mother you have a real intrusive personality, don't you, Philip? Just all up in people's business and stuff. Just stop. Oh, really? And what do you suggest my partner be like? Someone more sophisticated, wittier, more handsome. Someone who can keep you on your toes and bring out the fire in you. So, someone like you. I'm perfectly content with my own taste. No, 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 someone like you. I mean, yeah, I'm perfect. Okay. Okay. I've heard of God complexes, but come on, Philip, be for real. We're going to laugh because he told the funny. You're obsessed with me. I'm just doing my duty as your guardian angel. I need you to do the best you can. So you think there's someone out there as perfect as you? Well, of course not, but maybe there's someone who's close. You're ridiculous. If I listened to you, I'd be single forever. No, you just wouldn't settle. Why don't you ask me out then? That's a very good question. For someone who's so invested in my life and then keeps claiming that it's part of his job, and we both know you love me and you want this or whatever, why don't you just ask me out? I might say yes. It might actually be interested in more than just the food part. Since you so obviously want to date me, you've got this all wrong as usual. I have no romantic interest in you whatsoever. I'm talking about someone who shares my traits. Mm-hmm. I'm serious. The lady protests too much, me thinks. You know, you should probably get a hobby or something, for real. Instead of obsessing over my love life, that's always an option. How can I get a hobby when my job is to protect you 24 seven? You curse me with this life. Well, you're not protecting me now. You're so dramatic. Well, you're not protecting me now. That's because you're at home. Yeah, but that means you have time. I also have to sleep. It's so weird that angels have to sleep. I mean, we don't have to do it to survive, but to rest and recharge. So why aren't you sleeping now? Hmm? Hmm, Philip? Hmm? Instead of all up in my business. If I wanted to put my personal life out like some individuals did, I would have did it. That's y'all choice to put y'all life out there. I'm doing something already. What? The sun blurred picture. Flying in the sky. And we got some gems. We got some gems. And we got some gems. 
Well, damn, I'm jealous. Watch out. First off, let's do the shocked face. Like, oh, oh, he and this guy are floating this shit because he got wings. Oh my God. And then we have, well, damn, I'm jealous. Or watch out. Well, damn, I'm jealous. Sometimes I wish I could fly. I'm not gonna lie. You should be. Well, it's not safe to text and fly though. I can't die. What if you hit a plane? Hmm? I bet you it'll hurt. You won't die, but I bet you it'll hurt. I'm using my powers. Nobody can hit me. I'll just fly straight through. Your phone won't. What if it gets cocked in an engine? Hmm? Hmm? What if it gets what, what if it gets trapped in one? And then it, in the in the propeller or something of a plane. I don't know how planes work, but I know if you put them in the little spinny things, it could possibly make the thing go pew. You know? What about others? Think about that. Yes, it will. Your powers are a mystery to me. Good thing you don't have to understand them. So how do I look in the photo? Let's think about this. Because are you seeking validation from me? Hmm? I just want you to be honest with me. Or do you just like me and want to see if I like you back? Huh? Play chess, not checkers, baby. Which one is it? What the? F no. <laughs> I'm laughing because we know you're lying. It's okay. Admit your feelings, baby. It's okay. So why do you need me to tell you that you look good? So you think I look good? That's not what I said. This is what I said, but it's not what I said. No, I mean, you just want me to think that. Why would I want you to think that? I asked you a simple question. You can say I look ugly. Okay, you look ugly. That's a lie. Can I? Okay, you look ugly. Why is it so hard for you to admit that you like the way I look? Why are you so obsessed with me? If I told you you looked good, you'd think I was interested in you. And I don't want you to think that. Why not? Because I'm not. <laughs> That's a lie, but I'm not. Well, okay, I'm not interested in you in like a serious way. I'm interested in you in a curious way. You know what I mean? So why do you keep teasing me and acting like you want me to like you? You obviously want me to ask you out and you're playing coy about it. You're not turning this around on me. Whatever, I'm exhausted from this conversation. <laughs> we got him mad. <laughs> Alrighty, so that is gonna be the end of our part seven in part eight with our Philip Alertis kind of sort of admitting his feelings for us, but like trying to be coy. He trying to be a little secretive. We all know how he feels though. Anywho, if you like this video, go ahead and let me know you like this video by hitting that like button. And if you're new around these parts, like I said before, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join this blue flag gang, okay? We are always wanting and we are always welcoming. And while you're over there, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can be notified any and every time I upload because clearly your girl just be posting whenever. Anywho, I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope you all follow my socials. I be trying to stay active. I'm not gonna lie. I post every now and again on the TikTok and on the Instagram. Also, I don't sell Bitcoin. I don't. So, yeah, watch out for those scammers. Anywho, I'll catch you with blast next time. I just thought I'd put that out there. Okay, love you. Bye. <laughs> I'm gonna bust the move.